It just screened for critics on Monday, and they've started to buzz about it. Let's talk about what the critics are saying. But Alun, before we do that, I wanted to get your thoughts on these live action remakes in general. I know Disney's been going through their library. They did Lion King, Aladdin, a bunch of other ones. Some people hate it. Some people are kind of indifferent to it. Where do you fall? Which of them have you actually seen? Sure. So I saw the Lion King one. I had pretty much the same thoughts that everyone did, which was it was fine, but it seemed kind of unnecessary, especially since the original, I mean, the original is frankly a bit better. This one, you couldn't even see any emotion in the animals' faces, which was a little awkward. And they changed a few things that were better in the original. So I, I don't really see the point unless they do something a little bit different. Right. And Can You Feel the Love Tonight was sung during the day for some reason in this version. Yeah, just odd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I actually haven't seen any of them, and I think that kind of explains my overall attitude, which is if it's a shot-for-shot shot remake, I'm really not interested in seeing it. The only thing that'll get me interested is if they do something different, take the basic concept of the movie, and make an entirely new film. And it sounds like that's what Mulan is doing. It's not a shot-for-shot shot remake. There's no singing in it. There's no Mushu, who was played by Eddie Murphy in the original. So uh, I, we saw a trailer for this the other day, and whenever Alun and I go to the movies, when we watch the trailers, we'll kind of give each other a little nod, a thumbs up or a thumbs down after <laughs> each trailer. And after Mulan, I was shocked, Alun, to see that you seemed maybe interested in this movie. Yeah, I mean... It looked like it has potential. It looked like it might have some good action. I could be into it. So it opens March 27th, assuming there's no delays. And it's it's actually been delayed indefinitely in China because of coronavirus scares. I'm assuming in the U.S. they've chosen not to delay it because Disney's kind of taking a bet that if domestic box offices do drop off, it's not going to happen in the next couple of weeks. So I think, you know, when you delay a movie, it costs you money. It's not just saying the money is going to come in later than expected, but you're also going to have to ramp up the marketing machine again. They've already sunk all these dollars into marketing a movie that comes out in a couple of weeks. So I'm assuming it's not going to be delayed. But anyway, speaking of delay, let's not delay any further. Let's talk about what the critics are saying. So almost unanimously, they're saying very positive things about this movie. So some of the things they're saying are that it's beautiful, it's epic, the best live action remake that Disney has done yet. The word epic is used a lot. People are praising the action. They're saying it's a more mature movie than you expect. It'll appeal to children, but it's mature enough for adults to enjoy. On the flip side, the only real complaints I've seen are complaints we've heard many times before when it comes to Disney movies, which is that the villains are pretty poorly developed, so pretty boring villains. I've also heard that Mulan and her story is great. Everything else isn't. That's what uh, Collider said about the movie. So almost universal praise. Here's a couple of direct quotes just as an example. Kevin Polowai from Yahoo Entertainment tweeted, I've seen Mulan twice now. And I must say it is great with four R's. Easily Disney's best live action reboot. I think it's also Disney's first battle epic. It is beautiful and absorbing and rich and empowering. The cast is excellent and Nikki Caro's direction is just breathtaking. Then just to show both sides of it. So there weren't a lot of negative things to be said about the movie. Almost every tweet I saw was as positive as Kevin's. But Mansoor Mithiwala, Mansoor Mithiwala, got a pretty tough last name there from Screen Rant, said, There's a great film yearning to break out in Mulan, but it's surprisingly bogged down by adapting the animation. It has its moments, but the poor villains and inconsistent action quality results in a mediocre movie. Anyway, Alun, having heard all that, Are you excited to see Mulan in a couple of weeks? I don't know yet. (laughs) You've got to wait until March 27th and see see what the critics say. 
Yeah, that second uh, review there you just read made me a little nervous. Yeah, it's it's funny because everybody was praising the action. And Mansoor specifically calls out the action, saying it's inconsistent. The poor villain things, the poor villains thing didn't surprise me because I feel like that's a complaint I have with virtually every Marvel movie I've seen. So it's kind of just become an expectation for me when it comes to Disney action. But uh, we'll see. I mean, universe, most people did not complain about the actions. So that was an interesting critique there. Overall, though, this is how I want the remakes to be to be done, right? Take the concept of the first movie and give us a fresh take. Don't do a shot for shot remake. And it sounds like from these tweets, that's the route Disney's taken. They've done it right. Hopefully, having said that, the movie does really well and Disney takes a lesson from that. That do these remakes, that's fine, but make them truly reinterpretations of the movie. Do something different. And then maybe I'll be interested in seeing them because I'm sure Disney's very concerned with whether or not Gil from One Take is coming to see their <laughs> remakes. Also, by the way, I did not realize Jet Li was in this movie. And that's a nice little bonus. I feel like I haven't seen Jet Li in something in a while. 